Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. This is 20-something-year-old patient who presented with parotid region mass. Patient underwent multimodality imaging. I'm going to start with OPT radiograph. On the OPT radiograph, you can see a large lytic expansive lesion involving the body and the ramus of the mandible. You can see multiple thin septations. The overall appearances looks like a soap bubble. You can also see the unerupted third mandibular molar tooth. The crown and the root seems to be intact. You can also see erosive changes involving the roots of the second, first molars and also the premolars. Patient subsequently underwent CT examination. On the CT localizer images, you can see the similar findings of a large lytic lesion involving the mandible with an unerupted third mandibular tooth. On the axial CT soft tissue windows, you can see break in the cortex. You can also see a soft tissue nodule, which probably is enhancing. You can clearly appreciate multilocular cystic lesion with internal thin septations which appears to be slightly enhancing. You can see the similar findings on the bone windows. You can see the unerupted tooth. You can see multiple regions of osseous erosions. On the sagittal reconstructions, you can clearly identify the unerupted third mandibular molar tooth. The crown is intact, the root is intact. On the MRI examination, you can see the soft tissue nodule. You can see the multi-cystic lesion. The septations can be clearly appreciated. Patient underwent gross total resection and was reconstructed with mandibular bone graft. To summarize the findings, we have a multi-lobulated cystic lesion involving the mandible with an unerupted third molar tooth. There are septations. There are also enhancing nodules. In terms of differential diagnosis, whenever I face with a mandibular lesion, I refer to this radiographic article. So there is wide differential diagnosis. I think in terms of our patient who has unerupted third molar tooth with multilobulated cystic lesion with soft tissue nodule, this radiographic article nicely summarizes the potential differential diagnosis. As we can see, there are three potential diagnoses possible in this patient, dentigerous cyst, keratocystic odontogenic tumor, and amyloblastoma. Constellation of imaging findings in our patient is most suggestive of amyloblastoma given multilobulated cystic mass with solid component, enhancing septations, soap bubble appearances and erosive changes involving multiple tooth roots and also bony cortex. I hope you found this study to be informative. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.